talk about the whole Secret Wars thing. This this has got to be a not a full reboot, but it's got to be a restructure of the MCU. A hundred percent disagree with you. No, no you chance. Don't, you don't think it's a no. restructure, right? We have going back to the trademarks because I think they're important. We have hmm. two sagas they haven't announced, but they trademarked. You have uh -huh. a timeless era. You have an infin and not infinity. You have eternity era or the saga. And you have like Eternity War and all that. And you have Avengers Timeless and whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, why? Like, rebooting is not the point of Secret Wars. Having a reshuffle and, and a, like a little rejig of everything it was, sure, was the point of the Hickman one. But the other two, it's not the point in the slightest. Mm -hmm. Like, Secret Wars 1 and 2 wasn't even multiverse. It was literally, hey, I'm going to pick you up. Yeah, yeah. And put you on this planet. Yep. And literally, this planet is Battle World. You're still in the same time on it. Like, mm. you can kind of, like, you're obviously going to amalgamate the two and clearly take more from Hickman's run. It's multiversal, there's incursions. We know that for a fact. You rebooting anything after Secret Wars means that the multiverse saga has absolutely no consequences. Yeah. Well, it's, it, I mean, like, like they could but you do... can change stuff up like hey mutants always exist that's honest, that's, that's what i'm expecting that's honestly yeah, what like, i think that's and... that's carrying on from where and... you were at like hey this movie had a consequence everything still happened before if you go yeah. hey everything's different now look at how history's changed uh -oh. like if you just smash everything together and like hey this is this oh. was the effect of secret wars yeah that's you have a consequence wonder, like, like kang not being around anymore after this is why you have a timeless saga uh -huh. that's why they have that trademark because that's the consequence like kang is the consequence of infinity war and endgame they mm. mess about with time kang can now exist because they let loki like become a variant in the avengers oh, one yeah. once timeless is done you go hey abstracts are actually going to get off their ass because these little <laughs> people from a blue rock have been screwing about a reality <laughs> hey here's your eternity war that that's like you, you don't change and reboot anything you carry on and give it a meaning right. that's what i do well i'm just wondering if they're gonna do like where certain people are gonna remember um battle world uh, i think to you have to yeah. yeah if you go everyone forgot about it is that's gonna be weird that's gonna be real weird like it works for spider-man because that's very enclosed to one character but like no everyone going forward and you can't remember like yeah. how, how do you how do you carry on from from that because then so, they just go in about see i guess that's it. my thing like i think once secret wars you know once it ends once we're see secret wars you restructure the mcu just to be like look we can do like the one timeline again to keep everything in order, but here's your mutants now. Everything has to be one again, right? Like, yeah, we don't want it to be. But obviously, loose things would be different after. <laughs> exactly. So, like, I mean, you yeah, can cause... do a cause and effect tile, like I mean, style. Like, you can have one timeline, but as soon as it starts, there goes fifteen other ones. Yeah, because <laughs> that's the whole like timeless thing, right? It's, yeah, uh, you have different timelines, but. You make it a paradoxical thing, right? There's a million timelines. There's one timeline. They all exist, they don't exist. That's why mutants are a thing now. Mm -hmm. Like, they have their history, it doesn't match up with what we know. Exactly. That's the, that's the next saga after Multiversal. Yeah. How do you fix that? I, I don't know where you go after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know who the next big bad is after Kang. I don't like. Maybe you do, like, it is the abstracts, and that's why they are the eternity war See, after that like, I, I don't i'm know. still convinced that we're gonna learn that kang is yeah kang dynasty obviously but when we get the secret wars that doom is gonna be in control like uh, that's why i think fantastic four is the start of phase six yeah and ending with secret wars it's gonna be a long doom con i mean like, yeah like they, they are the key like the reason why like you find out, hey, Kang is actually Nathaniel Richards. I mean, to, to, to go even further, I guess. I don't know if I want to, but they could go with uh, the Beyonder and Molecule, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think something like, or someone like that has to exist, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or do we just give Kang this insane buff that he can, that, uh, master of time and all the rallies just collapsing on themselves? People are saying, well, what was the Beyonder doing if King was doing all this? Uh, he was watching the show. He was watching the show. That's what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching all of us. We are the TV show. 
Yeah, I, I don't know who you do after Kang for the, a timeless saga, because I assume we've got timeless Eternity War. Like, Eternity War seems to be more of a bigger thing than time. But This is my boy Dormammu just waiting to come back when everybody's been defeated. Aha! I'm back! I mean, he's just out of time, right? Like, yeah. why not? <laughs> like, it, it worked. I'm finding yeah, this there, be someone else, standing though. skull man. Take it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I think you you have Nathaniel Richards be Kang. And then you you move Doom in on it as well. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, maybe that's the ending of Kang Dynasty. Is Doom kills Kang. Oh, man. And Secret Wars is literally just Doom. Just Doom having fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, hey, this is my thing now. Oh, man. I could so see I it. Got the, I got the Infinity Gauntlet and we bring it back to the stones. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. I mean, there's... Just the sheer amount of everything we got announced and them, them literally like, uh, I'm not kidding you. I saw the picture of Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars pop up and I scrolled past it because I was like, what a troll. Good job. Because <laughs> it sounded too fan fiction-y and it looked like the fan-made logos that we've had for both of those for years now. So I was like, it's not true. And then I saw the Marvel page share. I was like, no way. Like it was one of those moments, right? Like. I say I I had that with the dates. I was like, yeah. no, I've read that wrong. Yeah, There's yeah. No way. It's like, no, I, I've definitely read that wrong. So like, someone's made a mistake in. I I looked. It took me about a good half hour to actually figure out like, that I'm not reading it wrong. They both say the same year. It hit me yesterday that just think of it this way. Literally in 2025. So three years from now, we will be talking about the trailer for Secret Wars. Yeah, How does that even yeah. work? I like my mind can't comprehend yeah. that that that's happening. It's, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. too. It's, I know there was that whole oh we're halfway to Secret Wars already. No, we're not. Yeah, <laughs> we're a third. I'll give you that. Yeah, <laughs> not uh, we're not halfway. No way. But, um, but hey, I guess the sagas are now a phases, and phases are just a year. We got arcs within movies that connect to other arcs and other things that build up the Avengers crossovers, that build up the phases, that build up the sagas, that build up the universe. Bro, Kevin Feige has is a madman. <laughs> and this is the thing, right? Because he also says in the interview, you know, not everything has to. You no, know, you can have multiple things going on at once. Yep. So, you know, we're not necessarily going to have like Moon Knight on the Avengers for secret wars or right. kang dynasty like right, you, right. you're gonna have a core team and then you're gonna see a ton of different people in secret wars but mm-hmm. i don't know i don't know how you how you can pull this movie off like if those two things in between these two movies aren't anything to do with a battle world <laughs> you've made a mistake like let us live in this weird yeah. planet thing that's just <laughs> At this least insane amalgamation of everything. At least those two projects between Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, which are two summer projects, make those Battle World projects. Yeah, just yeah. do it. I like. I don't care what it is. Just do it and have us live in that incursion for a little bit. Like, mm. which again, that's a, you you need to have Battle. It just needs. You to be need to. Yeah, it's. The possibilities of Battle World are too big mm. to waste. Like, don't waste that, please. Like, especially like you know, it's it's one of those people want to know what happened in those five years in the MCU. It, it looks highly unlikely we're ever going to see that, mm-hmm. unless maybe Wakanda Forever is in that, and that theory proves that to be true. And I kind of really hope it is, because then you can be like, hey, cool, we're going to recast each other. Like, yeah, because then you can have that movie end and lead lead into Endgame, but. You got. You need to learn from mistakes and listen to what people want. Like, if you have that gap, don't just make it like, "Hey, here's Nat Man and the Wasp. Here's Captain Marvel again." Like, they have to come before that Avengers movie. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, let people live in the consequence of that first Avengers movie, and then we yep. build up into it. Because exactly. the amount of storytelling you can do to get you from A to B, oh. and then Secret Wars can. Secret Wars hasn't then got to be an endgame, right? You haven't got to spend two and a half hours talking about time travel and going exactly. back to Exactly. Yep. Like, I adore that movie. I, but, I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with what they did, but you, you can't do the same thing twice. You just have that be the massive blowout that it needs to be. Mm-hmm. Like, Secret Wars is just your toys all coming together from whatever franchise you want and just smashing into each other and yep. breaking themselves. Like it, That movie needs to be that. I mean, 
let's just realistically like <laughs> I mean that movie they're gonna have unlimited funds for it right it's gonna be oh, 100% yeah 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 so when it comes to the end result I'm willing to bet Secret Wars will be the first film to pass 3 billion because Endgame sits at 2.79 Avatar no, 2.84 I think Kang might do it well, the, one of these two films I, is going to pass can, three billion. <laughs> I say I can see them both doing it. Yeah, can you imagine that? Uh, Did not re-release Avatar again just to spite Marvel. <laughs> it's but hey, no Avatar one's crushing three billion. I, we'll make sure it happens. I mean, the, here's like you know when you gauge the general population and just all your friends and like the mass amount of people that are talking about it. It's funny how many people I saw that were done with the MCU after Endgame are all posting yeah. about Secret Wars and mm -hmm. Kang Dynasty. I thought y'all were done. I thought this was our time to just enjoy it. Say, so I, I woke up to so many WhatsApp messages just like, how? Yeah. Now, no. How is that two in one year? So I don't know. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> I, so, I, that's my biggest thing for me. Is like, I have no idea how you're going to pull that off. Because they've got to start filming it, what, next year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's So it's it's kind of... It's going to be uh, kind of insane. And the thing that sh sticks out to me with this whole um, Secret Wars thing is once it gets off the ground and we start talking more about it, because it's going to be a project that's in development, like you said, for a while, like a year yeah. or extra. You're going to be looking at an interesting future where we're kind of going to get leaks and stuff and Secret Wars comes and... I'm just, you know, I talk to general audience, you know, people and audiences that you can consider. So the the day after this announcement, I was in the gym and one of the guys I see frequently there, he's seen all my comic tank talks and stuff. And he walked up, he was like, I don't know much about this. You're the person to ask. Give me a quick rundown of what the hell a Kang Dynasty and a Secret mm -hmm. Wars is. And I just gave him like the elevator pitch 30 seconds. And he was like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. And Did you tell like, him that the Kang Dynasty is what happens when you don't vote for Kodos? <laughs> yeah, actually, that was a joke I made because <laughs> I know he likes The Simpsons too and he got a chuckle out of it. But he was in. He, like, awesome. You know, like, that's pretty damn great. So, yeah. Uh, dude, this film, I am so hyped for the MCU. They, mm. th they did not have to go this freaking hard at San Diego Comic-Con. They did not. No, and it, it's it's silly, right? All they I say all that they they only gave us five new things. Yep. In comparison to what they like, you know, go back to twenty nineteen, we got how many things at Comic Con? It was nuts. Like you just got like virtually the entire of Phase Four, and then they come out. Actually, it wasn't even just Phase Four. We, they told us Phase Four and Five three years ago. Yep. Because most of this stuff we have known since then. Like D23 is going to be the first time we actually have something apart from uh, the, the majority of a phase announced mm -hmm. since like phase three. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of wild, but yeah, yeah. I I'm just I just hope Kang Dynasty ends a bit like Infinity War, and you have them trying to stop that incursion on the six one six timeline. Yeah, and you just stop hard stop it there. Uh -huh. so don't do what infinity war done and you have to snap and then you carry on going and you have that little like oh god moment like yeah. just hard stop it where they, they're using that little machine yeah right there just bang, <laughs> well, it's it's like gone. It, it just goes to white and just say battle world will return yeah <laughs> something like that yeah yeah i mean, maybe like hard cut it to white and then you pan out and it's just literally this weird planet and you just fl you're flying through all this weird stuff just and like, Make hey, he, here's the thing. He's literally a wall. Johnny Storm is now the sun. Like, we need stuff like that. Like, like exactly show like that. Stuff's messed up. Show us, like, the, make one of the interim films, that one of the two between the Avengers films, make it Doctor Strange Battle World or something. Like, go full yes. in, you know? Like, yes. It's, my God, unlimited potential here. That's, mm. like, it, it's crazy. Um. Yeah. It's you know, one of those where it's like, we're so close to it, I'm worried they're not going to be able to fit everything in, but you look at the amount of stuff we have, and it's like, you can do it, but we yep. Doom needs to be in a lot of things. I mean, if Doom's not introducing Wakanda forever, I'm going to get worried. If, as if even Doom is for Secret Wars. Which, yeah. 
if he's not, I'm worried about that movie all over again. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that has to be a Doom story. But it has I, to I be. Really don't know. Uh, <sighs> it's, so, it's I, I guess that's what we'll end up wrapping it around here because we've done a lot of talking today in regards to everything. Mm-hmm. Um, 